assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am Udo technical developer so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please uh, subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos so in today's video we are going to talk about how to call a python function from Udo qweb report so here i want to show the total number of seats available for this course so as we know like this course contains uh, three sessions and each of these sessions can uh, have 30 seats so total 90 seats so there is no field for total number of seats uh, in the class model so i need to make a function to calculate the total number of seats and then i want to show it here on the report so for this purpose, uh, what we need to do is uh, to go to the uh, PDF QWeb template. So this is the template we need to add. Here after the responsible, I will add uh, H4 tag to add uh, the total number of seats. So here I will add total uh, seats. And so before that, uh, what we need to do is uh, to get the value of the total number of seats so in order to do so we need to use a t and t set uh, and here in the t set we need to define a variable which is uh, total seats okay so in this uh, total seats variable we need to store a value which will come from the python function so how we can call the python function so here we need to use like o dot uh, the function name so what is o o is actually the record set uh like here we use uh t uh docs is uh the number of multiple record sets and o is a single record set so here we need to call this uh in the o uh, o dot the function name so this is like how to identify the model name of this uh variable so here we have created the uh, report for this model so we need to define the function in this model so here i will say like uh, o dot get uh, total seats okay and this uh, function parenthesis and then we need to close this tag so here i need to show this value uh, i will say like uh, span and tesc and here i need to uh, write the variable name that we just declared seats and close the tag so here i will copy this uh, function name and let me open the py file so here in this model we will uh, define a new function with the name get total seats and here i will go through each session because session id is a one to many field um, and i need to go through each record like for session in self dot session ids and first of all i need to define a variable to store the value of total seats uh, the initial value is zero so here i will uh, say like total seats plus equal to session dot uh, the variable name which is uh, seats so seats represent the number of seats for each session and then i will return uh, total seats so this is uh, how you can do it and let me just uh, restart Odoo service and then upgrade the module so like we have made changes in xml and also in uh, pdf in qweb uh, xml and python so we need to upgrade the module so after the module update let me just print the report again see so here is the report so here you can see total number of seats is uh, 90 so now let me tell you how you can print uh, like how you can get this value in a shortcut way so let me just comment this code so in order to do so you can just use a map function uh, so for example i will say like uh, total seats is equal to self dot session ids dot mapped and here i need to write the name of the field uh, for which we need to sum up the value which is this one so i will just close in parenthesis and i will add a function sum so this this piece of code will return a list of all these seats values like if it is uh, like 
30 30 30 so it will make a list of these values and then it will sum up okay so we can write it like this and then we need to return this value like this so you can just write this code in one line which will give us the same result that uh, we saw before okay but this is more uh, like in a better way so let me just print the report to see you uh, to show you like uh, it will you will see the same uh, report values okay so here is the report you can see the same value so this is how you can uh, call a python function uh, you in the qa pdf report so if you enjoyed this video please give us a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you